So once you've made your own copy of your website, you can always access it by going to the grid in Google, going down to sites, and then you'll actually see, um, you may see another website in there, but you want the one that you made for this project with, uh, with your name and the, uh, the first part of your email address. Go ahead and click on that. And again, you'll have, uh, you'll change your name here. Then we're going to over here on the right, go to pages. And these are all the pages that are included in your website. For now, what we're concer most concerned with is the student led conference pages. So find the grade that you're in. Uh, so, and then click on that page. And then there are fill in boxes. So here, for this first box, it's my goal for sixth grade is, I'm gonna go ahead, click in that box, and then you're gonna type in, having thought about it, you'll type in uh, your answer to that question, where what are, was your goal or what are your goals for the grade? The second box has to do with um, uh, what you're excited about for this school year and what you're enjoying so far. And again, these are all for your parents. You, you'll, be doing, uh, you'll be meeting with your parent or guardian uh, for the conference, the student-led conference, and this information is all to help guide you as you talk to your family about what's going on with you in school this year. In this section here, there's a list of strengths and there are a list of areas where you can improve. And what you just need to do is uh, get rid of the ones that don't apply to you and leave the ones that do. And if you have other strengths that are not listed here, we just gave a few examples, please put them in. And if you've got other areas you'd like to improve in, please put them in here. And below this section, uh, are each of your subject areas. And down at the bottom, we've got your, your two UAs and a section for band, choir, orchestra, and uh, quest, ESOL, reading, whatever else, you, another subject you may be in. Let's say you wanted to copy this if you were in two of these things. Uh, right here, when you point to the bar, this second box here, it says duplicate section. If I click on this, it makes another section I can rename it whatever I need to. If you don't want that section, again, you're going to click the, uh, the trash can here. Anytime you make changes to your site that you want to be viewable when someone looks at your finished site, you're going to go ahead and click this publish button. And oh, this is my second time I didn't publish this, so. And to view the actual website, as it would show to somebody else looking at it, you would click on this triangle and click on View Published Site. 